Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go It's a lot, it's a lot every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave Through uh, the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway It's a nice thing. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gene Edwards. This is my week eight preview for November the, what is it, 26th today, as the Edmonton Oilers are going to be taking on the New York Rangers in about 45 minutes. So I'm trying to get this done in one take. Um, yeah, they are on a or on a road trip right now. They're going to head back home for one game against Florida, then go back on another Eastern road swing. Isn't that lovely? Uh, their third one, like I say, this month was just an absolute brutal month for the Empton Oilers. As far as the schedule makers go, I don't understand what they were trying to do there. It, it, it almost seems like they were trying to sabotage their season. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense that you'd send a team out on three Oast... Uh, three Eastern road swings that is a West Coast team in one month. But it is what it is. Uh, and again, I'm trying to taper my expectations. I know I went off on a bit of a rant after last game uh, because the power play was so horrible. You know what? I have to have a little bit of patience with it. This team will turn it around and pull it around. Uh, let's give a quick shout out to a couple of my co-workers. Uh, first of all, I'm going to give a quick shout out to Blair who brought in some really old hockey cards here uh, as he brought in, I think this is Kevin Lowe. Kevin Lowe, and these are all, what form of hockey card was this? These are the score hockey cards. So he brought these in for me and I told him I'd give him a quick shout out and thanked him for it. That's pretty awesome. Give me Kevin Lowe. And then we got Ken Linsman, the rat, everyone's favorite. I don't know if it's coming into frame very good. There's Ken Linsman, the rat. And Adam Graves. That's right, Adam Graves. I believe he is the father of New York Rangers, uh, Ryan Graves, who we'll see shortly this afternoon. And then to Matty, two packs of Tim Horns cards that I said I was going to unveil on the show. And we're going to do that right now. Let's see what we got. Maddie, if I got a Calgary Flame in here, I'm going to be pissed off. You know that. And you're going to be laughing, and I know that, too. Come on. Okay, what do we got? I see a Pittsburgh Penguin. Ooh. Ooh-hoo! Spectrum Standout. Sidney Crosby. Love it. That's a good start. We got Charlie McAvoy of the Boston Bruins. And we got Rasmus Dallin of the Buffalo Sabres. Haha, <laughs> no Calgary Flames there. No Toronto Maple Leafs for you either, Anders. Hey. And then on the second pack here, I may actually start doing this as a regular basis. Just go buy a box of upper deck cards and just have a pack unveiling. All right. Ah, what do we got here? Montreal Canadian. Okay, we got superstar Nick Suzuki. That's a nice card. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to give this to Matt. <laughs> oh, there you go, Matt. You got another good row. And we got former Edmonton Oiler goalie Cam Talbot. Thank you again, guys. Really appreciate it. I should almost rip this up, but I won't. I owe it to you to give it to you at work, and I will. Okay. Let's uh, let's break into the week that we're going to have this upcoming week, um, as it is going to be a pretty hectic week for the Empton Oilers. Um, they start off, let me just queue up what I need to queue up here. 
Okay, so let's run down all of the potential uh, stat comparisons we have for this week. Now, keep in mind, I got four games, so I'm going to rifle through these stats fairly quickly. As we're going to start off with the Florida Panthers, the Edmonton Oilers met the Florida Panthers just two weeks ago, November the 12th, uh, and defeated them 4-2 in their building. You know they're going to come out hungry and wanting to beat the Edmonton Oilers on this game. So when it comes to goals, the Florida Panthers are 11th in the league, averaging 3.4 goals per game. The Oilers are 12th in the league, averaging 3.3 goals per game. As far as shots on goal go, the Edmonton Oilers are 13th in the league, averaging 31.9, whereas the Florida Panthers are number one in the league with a 40.4. Now, I'm going to get back to that stat in a second. When it comes to the power play percentage, the Edmonton Oilers slipped a little bit as they are now fourth in the league at 29.2. The Panthers are tied for 20th at 20.3. When it comes to faceoff percentage, the Edmonton Oilers are 15th in the league at 50.3. The Panthers are 21st in the league at 48.6. Getting back to that stat that I said just a moment ago, shooting percentage. The Panthers are actually 29th in the league only getting in 8.4 of all those shots that they managed to get. So what that tells me is their coaching staff is basically saying, get shots on net, get shots on net, doesn't matter, just get shots on net. I don't care if he's shooting it from the concourse, get shots on net. The Edmonton Oilers, on the other hand, are 13th in the league uh, with a 10.3. When it comes to the defensive side of the game, the Panthers are 20th in the league for goals allowed at 3.25, whereas the Oilers are 29th in the league, allowing 3.6. When it comes to shots on goal allowed, the Panthers are 15th in the league at 31.5. The Oilers are 28th in the league at 34.2. This is an area the Oilers need to clean up. Penalty minutes are... The Oilers are 14th in the league at 8.9, and this... Okay, sorry, I had something blocking the stat there. The Panthers are 21st in the league at 10.7. And then when it comes to the penalty kill, the uh, Oilers are 29th in the league, another area that they need to work on, at 72.2, whereas the Panthers are 25th in the league at 75%. So both teams need to actually clean that area up. Okay, so let's dive into the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, the Chicago Blackhawks and Edmonton Oilers met on October the 27th in a wild affair at the United Center in Chicago. It was a 6-5 final, if you remember that game. Lots of scoring, just really, really horrible play, to be honest with you. It just looked like pond hockey. Um, but the Oilers came out with the two points, which was the ultimate goal. Um, and... That was actually a tough one. They almost lost that one. So it comes to their stats for goals. They are 30th in the league, averaging only 2.5 goals per game. They are 31st in the league for shots on goal, averaging 26.4. When it comes to the power play, it's 18th in the league at 21%. Faceoff percentage is number one in the league, 56%. So Jonathan Taze has got his faceoff prowess back as this team is doing really well in on the dot. That is the one stat that they really kick butt at. When it comes to the sh shooting percentage, they are uh, 21st in the league at 9.5. As far as defensive stats go, they are tied for 23rd with a for goals allowed at 3.45. When it comes to shots on goal allowed, they are tied or they are 29th in the league at 34.3 penalty minutes they are 20th in the league at 10.5 and the penalty kill is 26th in the league at 73.9 okay when it comes to the minnesota wild like i say i'm sorry that i'm kind of going through this this quick but it is such a busy week for the oilers the Minnesota Wild, as far as goals, are 24th in the league, averaging 2.85. When it comes to shots on goals, they are 17th in the league at 31. 
When it comes to power play percentage, they are 13th in the league at 22.7. When it comes to face-off percentage, they are 23rd in the league at 47.8. Shooting percentage is 25th at 9.2%. Our defensive stats are as follows. For goals allowed, they are 12th in the league at 2.9%. They are 10th in the league for shots allowed at 30.2%. Uh, 31st in the league for penalty minutes. So this is one of the uh, worst teams as far as their discipline goes. Uh, averaging almost 14 minutes a game at 136 and then the penalty kill is at 81.8, which is ninth in the league. Okay, last but not least, your Montreal, well, not your Montreal Canadiens. Uh, somebody's Montreal Canadiens, but not mine, not yours, because we're all Oilers fans, are we not? Okay, the Oilers will take on Montreal in Edmonton on Saturday night to wrap up this very, very busy week. Uh, they are 19th in the league for goals at 2.95. Shots on goals, they are 18th in the league at 30.4. When it comes to the power play percentage, they are 28th in the league at 16.4. When it comes to face-off percentage, 12th in the league, 51.3. Shooting percentage is 19th in the league at 9.7. When it comes to the goals allowed on the defensive end of things, they are 25th in the league, averaging 3.48 goals per game. Shots allowed, they are averaging 33.3, which puts them in 23rd or tied for 23rd. Penalty minutes, they are 29th in the league, so that's another team that is very undisciplined when it comes to the penalties, as they are averaging 12.4 minutes per game. And last but not least, the penalty kill is 15th in the league uh, at 80%. So there you have it. A bit of a breakdown. We'll see what the Oilers can do. Um, the easier part of the schedule is eventually going to come. This November has been brutal for them. I'm hoping that they can defeat the Rangers. Uh, if so, it'll be good, and hopefully we can start seeing some secondary scoring. But other than that, guys, I know I rambled on really quickly on this, and I do apologize for that, but four games, I got to do something. I don't want to make this video a half hour long. I will talk to you very soon. This video obviously is the Sunday video, so you've already seen the Rangers, Rangers results, even though I'm not sure what they are. It just kind of mixed up. It's just the way I had to schedule it because I just did a time upload for this particular video. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. You guys have a great night. And remember, stay healthy, stay happy, stay hydrated. We will talk soon. My tongue keeps bleeding from the words I spit. So sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frostbite, they feeling.